Hi, this is Pamela of Pamela Quilts, and I'm here today with my Island Boutique unboxing video for July 2023. I was hoping to do a live video, but it's been a crazy week, so I thought it's going to be better if I just record this and then I can edit it as needed. So, um, I want to start out by showing you uh, box one, which I have here on my table. First of all, we have some Thermor batting, and this little package is a nice uh, queen size batting because the Thermor batting is super thin and light, and it's just a delight to work with. So that's a queen size, and we have a queen size natural cotton batting with scrim. This is uh, one of my favorite battings. It's just a nice all-purpose batting for most any project and oh this one's a little fluffier this one is oh this one's a wool batting I love the wool batting it is so soft and cozy and I have a quilt I made with wool batting that every time I get it out my cat is on my lap within five seconds no matter where he is in the house he knows when I have this quilt on my lap and he loves it Okay, there's one more thing of batting in this box, and this is the Hobbs Tuscany Collection Cotton Wool Blend, and that's a lap size. I think it's 60 by 60. They call it a throw size, and that's a good size. I like to make quilts that size, so that will be a nice one, too. I don't know if I worked with the Cotton Wool Blend before, but I'm sure it's wonderful. So now we have some fabric. This is a foundations bundle. Uh, we have half yard cuts that are gonna coordinate with the fabrics that I'm receiving in the other bundles. And you can see I got some really pretty colors. There's some red and blues, lime green, more green some brown. I'm getting a lot more good. I'm getting a lot more um, good at using brown. <laughs> I actually like it brown and blue and more brown and those that blue and brown go really well together. Some fuchsia, orange, more blue and another brown. So that kind of gives me a clue as to what colors are going to be in the bundles. So I'm excited to find out. Alrighty, here is the first bundle. Ah, you see those? Pretty colors. This is Park Avenue. And this ships to shops in September. And we're using this for the September blog hop. And those colors are just beautiful. It's going to be fun to break into this package. This was, the designer on this is Claudia uh, Fail, Fiel, P-F-E-I-L. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it right. Apologies to Claudia. Um, I've worked with some of her other collections and they are really fun. The colors are a little on the um, unusual side, I would say, but they, they just go together so well. They are so fun. So I am looking forward to that. And to coordinate with that, I've got ooh, one of my favorites, two yards of celery. This is a nice green that's got little undertones of brown in it. And this is just a really nice background color for a lot of quilts. And this is Ocean, which is another favorite of mine. So those two fabrics will go with that bundle to make an interesting quilt. And the theme of the September blog, blog hop is uh, paper piecing. So I've got some ideas and I'm excited to start working on it. So I'll be working on that real soon. And that's it for box one. So I'll be right back with the next part of my presentation.
right, I'm back. That's the reason I didn't do this live, so I could edit out the awkward changing out of the boxes and the uh, looking for stuff. So anyway, there I am again. And the next thing I want to show you is the uh, AccuQuilt die we received for, I think it's the October challenge. This is a fun one. It's called North Carolina Star. And it's got some interesting angles, which are fabulous with the AccuQuilt system because they come out right and you don't have to uh, hope that you got the right ruler for your angle because there are so many different degrees of rulers that if you get the wrong one, your pieces won't line up. So this will be fun and this will be, I believe, a fall themed project that we're making with this one. So light, but isn't that a pretty star? I love star quilts and this one will be, so this one will be interesting to make. And let's show you the back of it here. That's a cool quilt. I don't know if I'm, I'm kind of torn. I'd like to do that version of it. The blocks are set on point, but then again, I have some other ideas in my head too. So we'll just have to see what happens with that. And box two, with lots more goodies in it. We have the surprise bundle for the November blog hop. So this will be really a fun one to use. And we also have, and I believe this is November as well. Yeah, this is November blog hop kit. This is our by Annie project, which is always fun. I love making those by Annie bags. And this time I chose to make something to help organize my sewing room. It's the catch-all caddy. So that's kind of a preview of the color, a little sneak peek, but I've got this nice bundle with all the hardware and everything I need to make my bag. My bag, my container. It's a container. It's like a nice big basket. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. And we've got two pre-cut packages. This is the stack of 10 inch squares. And this is playful purple. And these are uh, pre-cuts that are in stock uh, from Island Boutique at any time. So your quilt shop can definitely get these in whenever they want them. And this is Ravishing Reds. And this is something I think they're planning on continuing on, which makes it really nice because if you uh, see a project you like made out of this, you can make your own version. So those are great. And we have another pre-cut. And this is a collection that's currently shipping out to your local quilt shops. And package this pretty nicely here. And I've got two yards of mint, which is a little bit lighter than celery, and two yards of turtle. That's a nice green, isn't it? Makes me think of pine trees. And the collection here, let me get this ribbon out of the way so you can admire this. This is so pretty. This collection is called Natural Healing, and it's got greens and blue-greens and golds. Very pretty. So, I don't know what I'll make with it yet, but it, this, might, this might go nice for, the, for a December project, which is a holiday project. So I think these would these would be a nice holiday-ish. They're kind of wintry looking to me. I don't know. We'll see. Then again, I could combine the greens and the red to make something very Christmassy. They didn't specify what holiday. It's just a holiday project. So. And the neutral is donut. It's a nice soft brown color, tan, with the little, the little swirly dots. I like that, and this will make a nice background. See how nice this goes with this? And it goes well with my first bundle, too. Whoops. Goes well with Park Avenue. That would make a nice background for that, too. So 
fun. Nice. I like these kind of warmer colors lately. In the bottom of my box, I have some spools of Aurafil thread. So the orange spools are 50 weight, which I use a lot. I think this is, I think this might be black. This is either black or, I think it's black. I'm pretty sure it's black. Oh, I know how to find out. A spool of black right here somewhere. Let's see, 2465. Oh, 26.92. Oh no, that's not black. Sheesh. Well, who knows where the black thread was, is, was. Where'd it go? Oh, I know, it's in the other room. I'm using it to bind a quilt. <laughs> Great for hand stitching. 50 weight is, I use it for um, any kind of hand stitching I do because it's a nice weight. And I use it for most of my piecing as well as uh, machine quilting too. This is a very pale pink. It's very pretty. It's color number 6723. Uh, got this spool of 80 weight in a soft gray. 80 weight's great if you're doing um, like, uh, what do you call it? English paper piecing, because it's really fine and you don't see your stitches. And it's nice for applique work, so very handy. And a spool of floss in a brown color, which would be kind of neat for doing some hand stitching on that Park Avenue bundle, I think. So depending on what kind of a project I make. Um, but I do like their embroidery floss. I wish I could have all the colors of it, of course. Oh, yes her trials as quilters. And this is something new I haven't used from Aurafil and it's a monofilament. So I'm excited to try that out. Uh, monofilament is really good for a variety of things. You can quilt with it when you want your quilting to be pretty invisible. Um, I've used it for hemming things, I'm sure. Some people use it to machine stitch their hanging sleeves on with a blind stitch and I have not mastered that yet. That might be on my list of things to try. So uh, later this month, I will have another shipment where I will get one more uh, pre-cut. So that'll be a pre-cut of strips of the uh, winter lines, I believe. And what else? Oh yes, the black, white, and gray solid bundle and uh, you've seen that before and just really great background fabrics. I use it for backings a lot and just handy dandy. So uh, that's all that I have to show you today and so I want to thank Island Batik and Aurafil Thread and Hobbs Batting, Patterns by Annie and AccuQuilt for all the great products. It's gonna be fun to use these for projects in the, over the next few months. And I hope you stay tuned. Uh, check out my blog at PamelaQuilts.com. I am giving away a priority uh, envelope stuffed with bits and pieces. So I haven't had any bites on my blog post yet, but I haven't publicized it because like I said, this has been a crazy week. Uh, we're getting our driveway poured kind of unexpectedly at the last minute. And um, so I wasn't ready for that. We weren't ready for that. So we've been doing some outside stuff, but uh, Monday it'll be all finished. So that's really exciting because it's been two years we've been working on this project. So it'll be super nice. So. I think that's all I have to say. Yes, go check out my blog. Oh, yes, one more thing. Um, you'll also see on my blog soon, and I'll announce it here as well, I'm going to be doing in August and September a quilt along, and it's called Road Trip. And my husband and I took an epic road trip last summer. We were gone for 56 days, and while we were gone, uh, since I couldn't really be quilting much, I spent the time designing and playing with some quilt blocks, tradi some traditional quilt blocks, some blocks I designed, uh, some blocks I modified. So, and each block has something to do with our travels for the day. So, 
my plan is I'm not going to release a block every day for 56 days. What I'm going to do is release a set of seven blocks every week. And I'll start that on uh, August 6th, which is a Sunday, I believe. So I'm inviting you to road trip along with me. So you'll be seeing some teasers on my blog starting tomorrow. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you'll join along with me. I'm using Island Boutique Fabrics from Past Collections in my quilt. And um, I'm also going to be offering the blocks in three sizes, three, six, and nine inch, because I decided I really like making three inch blocks. <laughs> <laughs> but not everybody does. So I'll give you some options and I'll have uh, I'll have the fabric fabric requirements ready and uh, just be ready to roll, start packing your bags and come along with me. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful day and I appreciate all of you for watching me and for following me and just for being part of my quilting world. So have a quilty day. Bye-bye.